hey, uh, hi. <laughs> it always um, surprises me I'm live, or not live, but you know what I'm saying, recording. So this is Linnell, and this is my journey, and thank you for being on my journey with me into trucking. I really do hope that these videos are helpful for you. Um, like I've said in the past, uh, there's other people who did videos and they did fantastic videos. So I'm not trying to duplicate what they did, but just the experiences that I've had and to share them with you and hope that um, it will help you in your journey, um, whatever that may be. So um, two things I have for you today. Um, one of them is something I'm kind of, um, sorry about the jiggle. I'm really pretty excited about. I'm, um, so Thrive, a lot of you know that I, um, I sell Thrive Foods and, um, I do some little examples and stuff. You've seen me make up meals and that kind of thing. Um, I haven't done a lot of it. This is my, this is probably, it doesn't look like much, but my most favorite thing um, so it's just Granny Smith apples, and uh, I think in this one I put a few strawberries in them, and then um, I love cranberries. I love the tartness, and I put some um, cinnamon, and then uh, we have a we have a lemonade and a limeade mix, um, and it's really like just freeze dried lime juice and freeze dried lemon juice. It's so good. And I put a, a, a little, um, probably a, I'd say about a quarter to a half a teaspoon of the lime aid in, in the baggie. And then, um, I will, uh, refresh it with a little bit of water. And then I put some, uh, I put it in, I really like the Greek honey, um, yogurt. And, um, then I get the, Oh, the cheap version, the store brand version of the um, Nature Valley granola bars, just the regular ones. And I crush that up to put crunchies on there. And it's it's so great for breakfast. Um, and that kind of tastes kind of like a um, an apple pie. But anyway, that's my favorite thing. But that's not what I was, <laughs> that was, I'm off track. So that's the Thrive stuff. So Thrive came out with something new and I just got mine the other day. So it's this stuff, it's called a Ruvi, R-U-V-I. I don't know what it stands for. <laughs> uh, I have no idea what it stands for, but, oh, this is gonna go off. Oh, I guess that could go off, it doesn't matter. It's my um, tablet. Um, so it's, Active, boost, focus, and clean. So this one's a sample pack, and I um, one of one of my um, uh, fellow consultants gave uh, out a challenge, and she personally called me and um, challenged me for the thirty day challenge. So I just started it. It's basically to get more fruits and vegetables in your diet. And I have to be honest, I have been totally slacking. It was, it's gone from so freaking hot to then super cold. And so when it was so hot, I wasn't doing my laps. And, um, and now that it's so cold, I haven't been doing my laps. And so I've been eating, um, crap, um, like, a lot of us do. And I want to share that with you because I don't want anybody to think that I'm some uh, super human that sticks to every little thing. I'm not. Um, I get off track and I've been off track. It's been really stressful the last, you know, few months with going with through the divorce. And then, um, uh, you know, I had a bunch of things go wrong and to put in a new, um, uh, air conditioning unit in the trailer. And then, um, I got my bike, which that wasn't stressful, but I mean, um, just Zane's been skipping school. So, um, I followed him around in school. 
don't know if I told you about that or not. It was really funny. Um, and, uh, you know, the final divorce and then um, just life, you know. And so I fell into old habits. I love potato chips. <laughs> so I've been eating potato chips. I've been eating crap that I shouldn't eat. And so this is a way, this is a good challenge for me to get back on track and um, to start doing my laps around the tractor and trailer and my push-ups on the tires and all those good things. So anyway, um, normally, so I, ha I got the green one and normally green stuff, I just... I like vegetables, don't get me wrong, but these green drinks just look awful to me. But I tell you what, it's good. So this one is the um, cleanse, the clean one. And if I can get this stupid thing off, uh, I think you're supposed to, it came, oh, it came with a shaker. So um, I got the sample pack. Oh, there it is. And uh, anyway, it the it comes with one of those little balls inside uh, for mixing. And I mean, you can taste, you know, the the greenness, but it's not overwhelming. It's pretty darn good. And then it has these other. These are the other. There's four in the sample pack. This one is uh, energy for your brain. And it has fruits and veggies and nothing else. So just to give you an idea what's in here, this has blueberry, grape, blackberry, banana, strawberry, broccoli, zucchini, spinach, acia, maki berry. Acia, I know that. And then maki berry, I don't know that. And literally, you just add some cold water. I'm sure you could do other things. You could put yogurt in here. You could add some ice and make kind of a smoothie. Um, and then this one is charge up your heart. Ta -da. Active. And this one has Fuji apples, tart cherry, carrot, raspberry, butternut squash, strawberry, beet, and tomato. I'll probably like this one even better. And the last one, and I'm sorry, I threw the green envelope away. I did it inside at the truck stop. This is Immune and Skin Boost. And this one has banana, carrot, mango, peach, pineapple, butternut, squash, kiwi, and orange. So these all have four servings of fruits and veggies in them. So it's a great way to um, get your fruits and veggies. Like I said, you can just add water like I did with this one, or you can, um, you know, uh, like I said, mix it up with other stuff and put it in, uh, make a smoothie. So four, uh, four servings of whole fruits and veggies in every packet. And um, so I'm doing this, this is just part of the challenge, um, but it's nice because again, in the truck, it's shelf stable. It's a way to get some more fruits and veggies in your um, diet and, um, you know, on a path to better health. Okay, so the next topic, topic number two, is um, schools. So, and I apologize, this is going, I can see I'm almost at 10 minutes, but um, this is really, 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 really important. And... Um, I want to give a shout out to um, the school that adopted me. And I'm going to tell you right now, if there's any way, any way at all that you can possibly get to Utah and go to the Utah Trucking Academy, that's where you should go. And I'm going to tell you why. So a couple of reasons why. First off, I talked about this in another video. Many, 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 many of the companies are now only doing uh, training on the truck with a trainer 
for like a week or two weeks and that's it. And that is not enough time. So, um, and that's the, the video I did about the young kid who, um, backed into me at the loves in, um, Port Bear, uh, Louisiana. He was actually, it was one week with a trainer and two weeks on his own. So he was three weeks out of school. And that's why your school is so important. And the reason you want to go to Utah Trucking Academy is because of how thorough they are. So you, they have you, you do everything. So the school that I officially went to, like they showed the fifth wheel and they're like, yeah, and that's the fifth wheel. <laughs> that was kind of the extent of it. I was just going, yeah, that's it. There it is. Did you see it? Did you see it? There it is. We didn't actually uncouple. We didn't do any of that. Um, even things as stupid as fueling, there's a process that you have to go through in fueling. You know, you're probably going to have a company card and then, you know, how to, the other thing is, um, you know, you got to start the, the main pump and then you got a slave pump and you don't want to turn off the main pump first. You got to turn off the slave pump because if you turn off the main pump first, then the slave pump automatically is off. So, I mean, there's a whole bunch of things, dumb things like that. And they literally have you do everything. The tandems. I mean, yes, okay, I passed my test. I know about the tandems and how um, you're supposed to move them for the weight. Well, it just seemed like a really uh, complicated thing at the time because I never had actually done it. But Utah Trucking Academy, you do it. You slide the tandems back and forth. They have you do it. They show you how to calculate. I mean... I can't tell you how important that stuff is. Um, I mean, they really put you through and have you train on every aspect of trucking. Now, obviously, it's a school. You're not sleeping in it and all that, but um, it is really, really a good school. They have more hours than are required um, so that you're thoroughly trained. Um, they went over, that's where I learned how to do my paper logs because I wasn't taught how to do that at the other school. Um, it's just, uh, really important, you know, the backing, you know, all, all the different backing that you have to do. Um, they train you on that the parallel, um, the opposite parallel or whatever. I don't remember names of everything. I just do it. <laughs> So, but that's what you want to get to. You want to get to a point where you don't even know what it's called. It's just what it is because you just do it. You don't even think about it. But the training, they're patient. Um, they're thorough. Some of it, like I've said before, it's up to you. You got to participate. You got to be there. Be involved. So don't try and, um, you know, test out early. You don't want to test out early. You want to get all the training that you can. You only have one chance to get this training. You only have one chance to get training uh, with a trainer on a truck. So testing out early is not to your best interest, I don't think. Um, so, and then also uh, just another reminder that you really want to find out from the company that you're interested in how long their training program is, how long are you going to be on the truck with the trainer? Um, there's so many things that go, that happen that, um, if you have a good trainer, you know, they're going to hopefully try and trip you up. I know one of my friends, he puts nickels, uh, in the glad hand so that, um, it's not getting air. So it looks like it's bright, but it's not. So he tries to trip you up, not to be mean, but so that when you're faced with something that you'll recognize what's going on, that you're not getting air, that you don't have air to your brake lines. Um, so, you know, those things are really, really important. So um, I will put a link to Utah Trucking Academy. 
Um, it's worth it. If you can get your training there and go to Utah, it is so well worth it. There's just not too many schools anymore that have the kind of care and, and um, passion about trucking that love. These are people who truck, who love trucking, and they want you to be successful. And um, it's just, it's a great school. So if you can't go to Utah Trucking Academy, again, I highly recommend go and interview them. You're giving them your money or you're getting a grant and the state money is going to them. Interview that trucking school. Find out if they're any good. Talk to the students. How many, you know, do they uh, have you do paper logs every day and log all the stuff you're doing? Um, do they, you know, uh, have, you know, how much time, you know, is the class time versus the driving time? Just, you know, how many students are in the truck? Um, so just all those things are really important. Find out. So, you know, in any of these things, you, you're interviewing that school, you're, you're giving them money. So, um, uh, Utah Trucking Academy, ask for Miss Gale. She's the best. Um, and again, I still, you know, I'm not at Warner anymore, but Warner has a good training program. They have a really good training program. One of my friends uh, just was talking to her at night. Oh, okay, can I add something else? I'm gonna add one more thing. So we'll make this a trifecta. And I, this is another thing I've said before, and it's really important. You need to network. You need to have other drivers. So hopefully you um, will like your trainer that you'll get along with them and they can be a resource. Um, but beyond that, even um, other drivers, uh, in, even uh, students in your class or when you um, start with a new company, Hopefully there'll be a senior driver there. And by senior, I don't necessarily mean, you know, 55 and older, but somebody who's been with the company for a while or been driving, um, that they will befriend you. Uh, so again, to be nice to people, it makes a difference. So make friends with other drivers, somebody that you, you know, that says, hey, if you get stuck, call me. Here's my number. You can call me anytime. My, uh, my friend at the hub group, uh, Mr. Terry, he's awesome. And he gives me tips on little things and, um, you know, how to, how to do stuff. So, uh, if I have a question like last night, oh my gosh, you're not going to believe this. It's crazy. So there's the first time for everything. And like I said, things come up. It could just happen once. But so for the first time ever, I was doing my uh, pre-trip on this trailer. I was like, something looks weird about the brakes and, and everything. So somebody installed the uh, uh, spring uh, leaves that are supposed to be like this you know, with the, the big uh, U-shaped bolt holding them in. Instead of installing them like this, somebody installed them, I can't do it, upside down. And so they're hanging low. I'm like, wait a minute, that doesn't look right. And then I thought, well, I don't, I mean, I've never seen that, but maybe it's okay. I mean, I don't know, I'm not a mechanic. I don't think it's okay. And so I sent a message to my friend, Mr. Terry. He's like, uh, no, that's not okay. That's not, uh, no. So have somebody, have a couple somebodies, because not everybody's going to run the same kind of shift that you do. But have people that, um, you know, you, you probably build up your arsenal of people that you can call. But do that. And, you know, as you learn things, share with other people. And then, you know, uh then when you see somebody new coming into your company, you can be that senior person. So anyway, um, the 30 day challenge, if you're interested in that, let me know, 
In fact, I'll try and put a link to um, my page that has the um, Ruby little packet things there. Um, if you're interested in that, you can click on that. Uh, secondly, uh, your school matters. Utah Trucking Academy, I think, is the best in the nation. If you can go there, is there if there's any way you can go there, go there. Uh, and I'll put their information in there. Um, and three, make a friend. Um, find people in your company, uh, other students like my friend Abdullahi. Um, we're still friends. I need to call him. Um, but uh, have other driver friends or mentors, people that um, have said they'd be a resource for you. So I hope that's helpful. Again, I'm really um, glad that you're on this journey with me. Um, it's a great journey. I just love trucking. Love it, love it. And um, uh, that's all I got for you. So um, thank you for being on the journey. Be nice to people. Be kind. Just smile. Um, say, hey, have a good day or whatever it is. Just something. Just something. Learn. If you go to a certain place over and over again, learn the guard's name. Learn the, the guy's name or gal's name at the, um, you know, if you go to a pilot or a J or a TA a lot, learn their name. People like that. So, um, yeah. All right. So thank you for being here. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments. I'll try and answer them. And I apologize for a long one, but I really um, try not to make them too long. So um, I hope you'll forgive me. So thanks for being here. All right. Bye.